Uh, we are an NPO from South Africa. Uh, we needed to import PPE uh, mask for the destitute people. We used a company that we've never used uh, before, and they assured us because they worldwide company, CIMC, a uh, vehicle uh, manufacturer, um, that they will provide us with the best product and in time. We paid everything. They pressured us. We paid everything in advance, made sure that they'd done it. Um, and we've ordered and we made it clear only 200 pieces as a trial order. Um, once they pressured us when, when we paid for the 200 pieces, um, he went and said, but no, we need to pay for another 415,000 pieces. Um, and that was not the order. We did say to him, listen, we are willing to, to even um, order 5 million from you, but we need to do the 200 million, uh, the 200,000 first. We are an NPO that needed to buy masks, PPE, for the destitute people. And then we got the CIMC company that we've never used before. Um, and they sold themselves, you know, as one of the best and biggest um, companies supplying PPE. So we did order. And all our orders was actually to them was since they won very clear, we said we want 200,000 pieces and if and when it's delivered, um, you know, and it's a smooth delivery, it's a trial order, then we will order again. Now, this Mr. Allen, you know, he's got so many different stories. And as I, you know, get more info and more info, you know, like... Um, um, you know, paperwork, evidence, WhatsApps. Um, he actually, in his first WhatsApp, says, uh, Mr. Melvin, I will, um, you know, I will do your invoice. Uh, we will correct it from 415,000, which is the um, amount that he is, is say that we, cost, we need to pay for it. Um, he says, I will amend your invoice. I will send it today. You've got 200,000 pieces. You've paid for everything, which we did. Um, so that was the, the, the first thing. And as we said, okay, we want our your mask now. He said to us, he is sending it to the port um, to be ready to be delivered to us. Then when I found him, all of a sudden, um, he didn't receive our money. However, we did send him the proof of payment, you know, through, um, through WhatsApp. And at that stage, we had quite a problem with, um, with um, our country working with, um, you know, international money. And I explained that to him. However, he got paid for everything. Then I asked him, but I need proof of the product. Please make a video or even pictures of proof of the product. He couldn't do it up till, up till today. The only thing that he did is he took a few boxes and he wrote my name on it to say Jean Melvin. But they never, ever opened the box to show me what the product looks like. Then um, he constantly says, you know, claiming that we, uh, we ordered 415,000. You know what? We even say to him, we will buy 5 million, but we need the trial order to come through. We've never used them as a supplier. We are skeptical because it is a, a motor vehicle company. Um, so they need to, you know, they need to, to show what's going on. So he constantly says, you know, they are losing money and he's not going to pay us back. And, um, he, you know, he, he uh, actually got all they produced it um, only to find out it's not the truth. Because one of our suppliers in China phoned him and posed as a customer. And he said he wanted to buy masks. And then Mr. Allen told him they do not have masks in stock at the moment. So, you know, why is he keeping our money if there is no stock? And he know for, for a fact he never, he never provided our stock or even had a, he could never show us a, a way bill. He could never show us any documentation that we've asked for for him to give us to make sure, okay, he did send it. That's fair enough, uh, but nothing, no evidence he can, you know, he can show as we requested. So, yeah, I mean, he pressured us for paying it, and we've paid all up to date. I think it's just over 1.2 million. I explained to him, I said to him, you never delivered on time. 
um, now um, you want us to pay for 450 because there's an invoice for 450. I said, you know what? You're actually correct. There is an invoice for 450,000, but there is an invoice for 200,000, which was a trial order we've paid for, and you acknowledge it in your own WhatsApps that you know I will amend it. He, okay, he never sent it to me, so I kept on paying because he kept on pressuring us, which then happened. Um, then on the invoice, I saw that he, the, the flight and the, the air cost was quite high. It was doubled what it's supposed to be. And then I phoned him and I said, listen, but why are the flight costs, you know, the cargo, you know, so high? It's way too expensive. And he said to me, okay, I'll come back to you. Um, and then he got back to me and then the price fell 100% in airfare. So I said to him, but would you, you know, you would have let me it and you would have let us pay for it without saying anything. Um, okay, so I left it there. And I must say, every time he says, we're such a huge company, we're one of the biggest PPE suppliers, so, you know, we, we won't only deal with 450000 But if that is the case, why just not refund our money and sell it because they must this huge company? Um, so for a past month and a half, it's back and forth, back and forth. Um, and, yeah, we're at the, at the start at now at um, – we tried to phone him um, – that guy that I told you that's in China, that's also a, um, a supplier. They even phoned him and said, listen, Mr. Melvin, ask us to come and view the stock. And he didn't want to allow them to come and view the stock. So for me, it only makes sense that he is maybe contracted with somebody else and he wants the money, you know. So as soon as we pay the money, then he phones them and says, okay, we want the product. He could never show us even his, his, you know, his workshop. When I ask, I want to see how a workshop looks like. Do a video call for me and stand there. I want to see what you look like. He never did it for me. He always had a story, you know, concerning that. So, number one, he didn't want to, didn't want to allow people to view the stock, even though I've paid up. There's no, not a cent outstanding to him. He could never, never provide it, any proof or formal documentation. Like it was sent to the bond store, it was um, on its way with a with a um, airplane, um, and then he said, "Okay, he didn't receive any money, so they didn't send the airplane." Uh, um, then he couldn't show me any proof of the product when I asked him. He only showed me boxes with my name on it. No product that was ever there. Um, yeah, so and all the lies that's going on, you know. Um, and just in, for interest sake is when we paid the amount, the final amount, I went to my bank and said, listen, can we stop this? And then my bank said they withdraw the money immediately. So then he said, okay, you know, something is happening here. Why immediately? This is a business. It went in a business account. Why did they withdraw immediately? Yeah, so this is where we are at the moment. And, um, you know, it's a two months of, of – um, of bad two months because, you know, we needed to supply these, um, these masks to people that doesn't have money for masks. And I said to him, you know what, you put money in front of people's lives. Do you know that? And he says to me, you know, I don't care. You just pay me my money and, you know, I'll send you the pieces. Um, and I need to clear it to him and said, listen, we need our money back. We ordered this two months ago. We don't need it now. And you know, one of the simplest things that he actually um, told us is that the one for 200,000 rand, we committed fraud. We changed everything on the, on the, the um, PI, the pro, pro forma invoice. But I don't know how, how can you do that? You know, how can you, how can you commit fraud, number one, to, to take back your own money that belongs to you? And how can we commit fraud on a document where everything that a former invoice and his WhatsApp, everything, you know, correspond to each other, but he's still going back. I don't think he knows that we have that. I think, you know, it's too long back, but I kept everything. Yeah, so it's just he doesn't want to give back our money. Um, it's 100% evident that he told the people there's no stock available at the moment. Um, and um, if that is so, why just pay us the money? And I think he used the money. I think he's not, CMIC is not the producer, actually. 
I think he works for them and this was just something, you know, on the side. He was doing for money. But everything that he did was on the CMIC letterhead. Um, the offices are registered, everything. Yeah, so this is exactly what happened. Um, all the lies, um, we did everything from our part, um, and that was the trial order. It was never a 450,000 order at first. He's quite right when he said we want a second order, and he even said, he said to me, Mr. Melbourne, I'll amend it to 200,000 and send you the invoice. And then he even gave me the price, the air freight, that I need to pay only for 200000 Yet, when we paid for everything, he kept it back. And he said, no, we're not going to send you the mask because now you owe us for 415000 And that's where he tricked us. And I said, we do not, we do not owe you. We, sent, we said we want a 200000 mask trial order. We've paid for everything, so just send us our masks. And he said he wouldn't. You know, he didn't want to and he will never do. In the situation, what is the best solution for you? Well, uh, we, want, uh, we want a total refund. Because by sitting with our money for the past two months, we needed the mask when we had the second wave of corona. We needed the mask almost three months ago. There's, there's no reason in getting the You know, it's not going to help us to get the, the mask now, but what are we going to use it for? And he doesn't have mask, you know, at his business. He is getting it from other people. Um, yeah, so we wanted a hundred percent a total refund, um, and he's not losing money because we know now that there's no masks because one of our suppliers in China actually went there and he wanted to view the stock, and that's he said, no, you're not going to view any stock. Do you have some message for other customers? Yeah, definitely. I think do your homework, number one. Um, you know, the commerce of, um, of China, I think contact them. Um, and thirdly, you know, do your homework. Make sure that you phone people that can guarantee and verify, um, you know, this, um, this people. Uh, just to give you an idea, we've got a 5 million order now for gloves. And we are bought from ordering from China. Do you understand? So it's so many people that's got a loss of jobs. So many people, um, we don't have it and we need it for medical reasons. So please, please, please be careful. Um, you know, it's just, um, if it sounds too good to be true, don't. Um, you'd rather use the escrow account or account that protects you more than that. Um, and don't trust anybody. Make sure that you've got enough background, good background. Why did you decide to share your experience with them? Oh, they're very rude, extremely rude. Um, everybody that phoned them, uh, the people, our suppliers in China were wonderful. The, the people that's actually um, decent, the people that we never had problems in the past 10 years that we buy from, and they actually tried. They phoned him and said, listen, can we do something? Because we are, uh, you know, we are losing business because of this. Um, and he's very, he swears, he's, um, you know, he's very rude to everybody. Um, and even when we tried somebody to phone him, which is legally, um, he never picks up the phone up until now. So as soon as he marks the number, he doesn't pick up any call when it's related to our money to get our money back. Mm -hmm.